Howdy, my name is Ann McCarthy, and this is a video on site building with WordPress 5.9 versus WordPress 6.2, which is currently in progress. So who are you? I'm a WordPress product liaison working for Automatic and a sponsor contributor to the WordPress project. Um, that includes leading the full siting outreach program. So this gives me a neat look into what's being built right now. Um, a quick note on using old WordPress versions, since we will be doing that in this video, uh, don't do it. <laughs> this is just for fun and a demo, and it's really important to use the latest versions of software. If you do want to export old versions, do so in a local or development environment where there's not a risk of hacking. Just want to get that out of the way. So to start, let's look back. So WordPress 5.9 was released on January 25th, 2022. It introduced the site editor as well as the 2022 default theme, it had over 600 contributors, and Josephine was the jazz musician. Let's look forward. So WordPress 6.2, it is very much a work in progress, hence the sliver of an image um, on this slide. The release schedule is to be determined, but should be announced soon. And it's setting the stage um, to wrap up phase two, which phase two of Gutenberg, the Gutenberg project is all wrapped up in site editing, block themes, et cetera, um, with phase three being collaborative editing. So this is a big release that's coming up. So with all this in mind, with 6.2 in progress, I wanted to show some of what's being done to help wrap up phase two and what that actually looks like. And part of how I wanted to show it was to compare WordPress 5.9, where a lot of these features were introduced, to where we are headed today. And mind you, what I'm showing is still an active iteration. Um, so more improvements are going to happen, more refinements are going to happen, and there's plenty of room to make your voice heard um, if there are certain changes you want to see. We'll first start with a demo of WordPress 5.9. I'll go through very quickly some of the features that were initially introduced there, and then I'll jump into some of the work in progress features for WordPress 6.2. All right, so this is my WordPress 5.9 test site. I'm using the 2022 theme, and let's just go through some of the features. So at a glance, you'll see that there is a navigation block. Um, you'll see that this is the current flow. You can create a new menu, you can manage menus here. Um, I can also go into this flow to edit, and this will prompt me to convert to links, which is basically importing a classic menu. So I can hit convert. From there, I can change things around, do all sorts of stuff. Um, you'll notice that the settings look like this. So there's all sorts of options to change the colors, to have different menu options, all that good stuff. Um, from there, let's open up list view and get a sense of the site. So you'll see a header, the query loop block, and a footer. And for the header, you'll be able to hit replace and switch through different options here in this interface. And then from there, you can also edit in the isolated view as well. So we'll go back. Going a bit further, let's open up the patterns. So you'll see that there's a featured section as well as various other ones as well. So if I wanted to add a different pattern for the query loop, I could add it in from here. So let's say I'll use list view. I'll select the query loop, I'll delete it, go back here, open up patterns, go to query, and from there I could select something like this to add it in. Pretty nifty. Scroll through. Um, you'll see various options as well in here in terms of the settings. Um, pretty limited thus far, um, especially in comparison to um, future releases, but for now there's still a lot here that you can do. Um, there's also styles. So let's open up styles and take a look. Um, you'll see that there's typography options you can change. There's color options you can change. So I could change around the color palette, change the background to black if I wanted to. I can also clear that. Um, you'll see that I can customize individual blocks. So I could go in and make changes to individual blocks as well, um, all within this interface, which is pretty nifty. And then from there, if I want to dig into um, different parts of the site, I can also I go into templates um, and template parts, and you'll see that these are the current options I have in terms of adding new templates. If I want to add a new one, I can only add the front page template for now. So that's a quick look at 5.9. Allows you to do a lot of stuff, a lot of baked in patterns, style options to handle your whole site, various template options you can get into, the navigation block, all sorts of stuff. All right, so this is my WordPress 6.2 exploration site. Mind you, this is actually using 6.1.1, but for any nerds out there, I am using Gutenberg 14.8 RC1, which is an early release of the Gutenberg 14.8 release, to demo this. So to start, you'll notice that this is the same interface um, that you'll be entered into when you open up Appearance Editor, but in this case, you're actually met with the sidebar that is open, 
And from there, you can actually scroll through and look at various templates. So this is what's called browse mode. And it allows you to get a sense of your site at a glance. Now, if you want to get back to that full list of templates, you can do so here. You'll also notice that there's a ton more template options that you can add. So in terms of what's currently possible to um, add to your site, there's a lot more there compared to what was in 5.9. A lot of work has gone into that. Um, you can also scroll through various template parts as well and actually see them live as you go through, which is pretty neat. From there, if you want to edit, you just hit that edit button right here. This is actually a work in progress and is likely going to be moved to be more prominent up here. But for now, you'll hit edit. This brings you into the site. And as before, let's take a look around. So if you open up list view, one thing to quickly note is that these are actually colorized to indicate um, that they are different kinds of blocks that are more global. So both template parts and reusable blocks will have this neat colorization in place, which is a big um, point of feedback that we had in the outreach program. Um, from there, I can actually click in here and you'll see the same sort of interface in terms of there's an option to edit and this will greet you with the option to customize. So you'll see that this actual user experience rather than saying convert to links is much improved. So it actually explains what's being done. So in order to actually edit the individual links, you need to go through this conversion process, but it brings it back to a user focus. So we'll hit customize. Um, from there, there's actually a neat new in progress user experience for the navigation block meaning that you can edit things in the sidebar. So if I actually want to like drag and drop and make this, you know, under, let's see, let's do it under getting started. I can edit here. If I want to put upcoming events under volunteer, I can do so here. I can also change around and create a new menu as well from here. You'll notice that these are also split tabs. So because blocks are getting more complex and more tooling is available with the various WordPress releases, there's currently some work being done to split these different tabs in place and have them be a bit more intuitive. So you can change things like block spacing here. And then from there, I could change the settings to maybe have it be on mobile always. But this is currently being um, determined right now. So this is the new experience to make the navigation block a bit easier to work with. Now let's take a look at patterns. So one of the neat things that I wanted to show off that wasn't currently possible before is this replace flow with patterns for the query loop block. So you can both look at it through a single lens in terms of flipping through the single uh, different patterns and what you can possibly use, or you can look at it in a grid if I'd prefer to look at all of them at once. So for example, I could choose this option. I could then customize it further, make it full width and remove those images. Also of note, in terms of patterns, this experience has changed. So you'll notice that it's organized a bit differently. And there's also some work being done to reorganize these as well in terms of changing the categories and making them a bit more intuitive. But for now, you can kind of see how they'll pop off to the side. And I can hover over to get a sense of the description. And I can click them just to add. So it's pretty neat. It allows for a more visual way for me to see at a glance what the different options are. And there's also some header and footer patterns that come baked into this next WordPress release so that you have at your fingertips um, well-designed headers that you can use. So for example, if I wanted to replace this header, I can also go through and hit this replace flow and be met with specific patterns for this exact template part. So boom, now I've replaced it and have this beautiful new header with a beautiful mountain. So now let's take a look at styles. So before it was 5.9, you didn't have access, access to what's called style variations. Now, in 2023, you'll notice that there are 10 baked in style variations that help you change the look and feel of your site. You'll also notice this zoomed out view. So whenever I clicked into style variations, this all zoomed out to make it easier for me to see the changes I'm making at a glance. So let's click through these. I really like this. I think I'm gonna stick with that. You'll also notice this neat style book. And this is a new feature that's being worked on that allows you to see how changes you make to your styles impact various parts of your site. So I can look at all the different options and see what's actually being done whenever I make these changes. And it helps me basically know that what I'm changing is something that I want to actually do, which is pretty cool. So it helps you see all the different options in one place. There's also some neat style previews. So if I wanna make changes to the paragraph as I was showing before, I can actually see what's gonna change as I make the changes here. So if I go back, you'll see that that makes it a little bit bigger and I can see the preview here, which is pretty neat. I can change the colors around, maybe make it black instead and have a black background. I could then add text and make it white just to be really goofy. Um, but you can do all sorts of stuff here. I can change the layout, add some padding, and from there, I'm good to go.
finally, the other thing I wanted to note was the custom CSS options. This is something that was long asked for from folks in the site editor, and this is now currently being done. There's also some additional items being done to have custom CSS on a per block basis, which is pretty exciting. But at a high level, this is some of what you can look forward to. So everything from the browse mode, which allows you to quickly move through your site to different style book to see how different changes you're making to your site impact everything to simple things like colorizing the template parts here. So you can better get a sense of what's being done or quick pattern switches. So you can actually replace what's being used on your site with ease. So now that you've seen a glimpse of the future with what's being done for 6.2, you might be asking, how can I get involved in the future of WordPress? Join the FSC outreach programs. This is the program that I run. There is currently a call for testing on a lot of these features that I demoed today, but there's basically just regular opportunities for testing to hear about upcoming PRs and jump into conversations that we have that you can see featured on this channel and the hallway hangout videos. And it's a great place to just learn alongside others, grow your knowledge and help shape the future of WordPress. So you can jump into the FSC Outreach Experiment channel and make Slack. All are welcome. With that, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to stay in touch, you can find me at nomad.blog or at Anzazu on make Slack. In any case, I hope this got you really excited about WordPress 6.2 and what's being done for the site editor. If you haven't given it a chance yet. I hope you do so in the future.